Hi guys, my name is Bina James Girl and welcome to a walkthrough of The Sims Free Play Preparing for Preteens quest. This quest is part of the main set of quests in Sims Free Play. It unlocks at level 15 and as soon as it becomes available for you to do, don't worry if you're past level 15, as soon as it is available and you are eligible to do this quest, you will get this pop-up. So it says, Preparing for Preteens. It's almost your toddler's birthday. Soon your toddlers will be able to grow into preteens. Enroll at Simtown Elementary, earn pocket money by improving their grades and take up hobbies such as karate and ballet. <laughs> so as it says, this quest will unlock preteens. The nice thing about this quest is that there is no time limit on it. We've had quite a few quests where there's been quite strict time limits to win some prizes and this is nice just for a little bit of a break so that you can take as long as you want to complete this quest. As you can see, there's no special prize for completing it within a certain time. There's no little clock at the top giving you a countdown of how long you've got left. So the first thing we need to do is to build Simtown Elementary. Hmm, it's about time toddlers were able to get a little older, don't you think? Preteen sims are great. They can go to school, karate class, ballet and much more. This is going to be fun. Let's start preparing for your preteen sims by building Simtown Elementary. So we're going to have to go out onto the town map here. Once you're out onto your town map, Simtown Elementary is right near your swim centre. Over here is flashing for you. Got this little icon here of the children. Go ahead and click on it. The cost of building this may change depending upon how many buildings you already have in your sim town. For me, it's going to take 14 hours and 15 minutes, cost 2,500 simoleons, and it must have five sims in my town. As I say, yours may be completely different. Simtown Elementary offers flexible school hours for your preteen sims as well as career opportunities for your adult sims. Let's go ahead and get that starting to build. So our Simtown Elementary has now finished building. Go ahead and click on it and that is task complete, build Simtown Elementary. The next thing that we need to go ahead and do is to purchase a study desk. Perfect. Now that the school is built, your preteens are going to need somewhere to study. The more they study, the better their grades and the more pocket money they'll earn. So it's totally worth it. Build a study desk. You'll find it in the preteen section of the home store. So let's go into a house. So once over in a house, go ahead and click on your home store and then scroll along to the preteen section. And then once in the preteen section, there are various different options for study desks. There's a 700 one, 1,251, various different ones. I am just going to go with the cheapest, the teen study desk for 700 simoleons. And this house is quite crowded. Where should we? We'll just place it anywhere for now. Let's just place it there in the middle of the room. There we go. Task complete. Purchase a study desk. We come back out a bit, purchase a preteen bookshelf. Good work. Now you need to buy a bookshelf stocked full of special books that appeal to preteens. Purchase a preteen bookshelf. Okay, I've just had a little move around with that bedroom so I can fit some things in. So in the preteen section again, there are plenty of different options for preteen bookshelves. Obviously you choose whichever one you would like. I am just going to go with the cheap milk crate bookcase. So that is 4,000 the cheapest. Make sure your arrows are pointing outwards again so your sims can access them. And the next thing that we need to do is to read Harriet Putter. Wow, this bookshelf is stocked full of all kinds of great books for your preteens. Hmm, this one looks interesting. Harriet Putter and the Greenkeeper's Crystal. It's in a new preteen bookshelf. Get an adult sim to read it to make sure the content is age appropriate. We need to read Harriet Putner there at the bottom for four hours. We've finished reading Harriet Putter. The next thing you need to do is to read everything you need to know. What a great book. It's all about a sim who discovers she has magical golfing powers before taking a train to Put Put Castle Academy. I wonder what else preteens like. Find a book in the preteens bookshelf that will tell your sim everything they need to know. So let's go ahead and click on the preteen bookshelf again and everything you need to know, top left, takes five minutes. The next thing to do is to buy a preteen bed. Wow, there's some great information in here. Apparently, more than anything, preteen sims enjoy staying up late, sleeping in and plastering their walls with posters. I guess they'll need a preteen bed then. Get a preteen bed from the preteen category of the home store. So... 
back into the home store. Do you know what I'm going to do? Actually, I'm going to sell this bed to make room for a new one. And then in the preteen section, I'm already in the preteen section, there are quite a few different beds. Again, I am just going to go with the cheapest that there is here, which is 1,500. But obviously, you get whichever one you want. Go ahead and place that down, and that is task completed. The next thing that we need to do is to buy a trampoline. Preteens also need entertainment. The book with everything your sim needs to know suggested you get yourself a trampoline. Buy a trampoline from the preteen section of the home store. Back into the home store. Okay, so we've got a couple of trampolines there, but three trampolines. The cheapest one I can see, is there any others? Let me just check. No, I think that's it. There's three there, and I'm going to go for the cheapest budget bouncer for 3000 That has to be placed outside. Does it have to be placed outside, actually? Yes, it does have to be placed outside. Go ahead and place that down, and that is task complete by a trampoline. Now we need to celebrate the trampoline. You might not have any preteens to bounce on the trampoline yet, but you do have an adult who can celebrate buying one. Tap on the trampoline and select Celebrate Trampoline. Let's click on and celebrate trampoline for eight minutes. Task complete, celebrate the trampoline. Now we need to cook cheese and tomato on toast. Nice moves. Okay, now that we've got the trampoline ready, you are going to need some snacks. Preteens love snacks. Cook some cheese and tomato on toast. So to make cheese and tomato on toast, you are going to need a cooker and also a toaster. If you've got a house that hasn't got a toaster, you won't be able to actually make the cheese and tomatoes on toast. When you click on the oven, the cheese and tomato on toast will be greyed out if you haven't got a toaster. So make sure you've got a toaster. And then cheese and tomato on toast takes one minute to make. Once the cheese and tomato on toast has finished being made, you'll get a little icon above your sim. Just go ahead and click on it and that is task complete. Cook cheese and tomato on toast. We also got a little item for our cooking hobby. The next thing that we need to do is to watch a movie on TV. With all that trampolining and snacking happening, you're going to need a way to calm those excitable sims down. A nice relaxing movie would be just the thing. Better screen one for content first. Have a sim watch a movie on TV. So we have got a one star TV here. I'm just going to go and have a little look if we can afford or if there are options to buy a better TV. Let's go and have a little look. One star. We can get a two star TV. Let's go ahead and get a two star TV and then I can show you what's the cheapest two star. This white wall, 1,700. There's nowhere to place it. Hang on, let's place it there. So I'm just going to show you. So on the one star TV, watch a movie is one hour and 54 minutes. And then on the two star, watch a movie is one hour 43 minutes. So as you can see, the greater star value the item is, the quicker the interactions are. So if we had a three star, it would be quicker still, but we haven't got a three star. So we'll just go ahead and use the two star for watch a movie, one hour and 43 minutes. There we go, task complete. We have finished watching a movie on TV. Now we need to ask advice from the thinking man. So there are some who claim the statue in the park, the thinking man, knows absolutely everything in the universe. Long ago, a scientist carbon dated the statue and found that it not only predates the Big Bang, but it was the first to use the word owned in a GIF. Wow, your sim should really ask it about preteens. Go ask advice from the thinking man in the park. He's near the chessboard. So head out onto your town map and then over to the park. Just collect a few of these little things. I recommend that you always, whenever you come out onto your town map, just go and collect all the collectibles that you can. Click on the park. And then we will whistle a sim over. And then over in this top corner here is where the thinking man is. Ignore these little Latin dances. Therefore, a dance to remember quest. You can, of course, start these discovery quests whenever you want, when they pop up. You will get pop-ups throughout your game, and you've probably had quite a few already, saying that a discovery quest is now available. Personally, I recommend going through the main quests, first of all, which you will just automatically go through as you play the game when you get through to different levels like we're doing in this playthrough. I'm going to do all the main ones first and then go through to the discovery ones just because I think sometimes with the discovery ones sometimes you need quite a lot of money and you need certain buildings built and it can just get quite, you, I don't know, I just think it's better to go through the main ones first. 
that's my opinion. You may want to do it a different way if you want. That is how I play the game. So we need to ask the thinking man statue some advice. That takes one day and 30 minutes. This best be some good advice that he's going to give us. Let's go ahead and click on that now. Get that started. And then the next thing you need to do is to be rude to the thinking man. And the wisdom the thinking man has to impart is, drum roll, silence. What a rip. <laughs> be rude to the thinking man. Whistle a sim over to the park if yours is gone. Mine went, so I needed to whistle one back over. Click on the thinking man and be rude for 1 minute and 12 seconds. We've been rude to the thinking man. The next thing you need to do is to play sims on a PC. If only your sim could practice raising a preteen before doing it for real. Brainwave, play the sims on a PC. So we need to go back to a house for this. So back at home, we have got a two-star computer and Play The Sims is 54 minutes. We have finished playing The Sims on a PC and there we go, congratulations. You just unlocked the ability to turn toddlers into preteens. And we've also got preteen adoption. So congratulations, you can now adopt preteen Sims using the telephone. So the next quest that becomes available to us is Seuss Judgmental, which is available from level 16 onwards. So I am just going to continue playing until I get up to level 16, and then I will start that quest. So before we take a look at preteens, the option to adopt a preteen has now become available on a phone. So if you click on a phone, I don't actually know anyone who has ever done this, but you can adopt a toddler, as we could before, but now we can adopt a preteen it costs £3.99 to adopt a preteen. I'm not quite sure why you would ever do that. Personally, never done it. Like I said, don't know anyone who's ever done it. But if you feel the need that you want to adopt a preteen for £3.99, you can do that via the phone now. Let's go ahead and we will age up our toddler into a preteen. I've been cooking some birthday cakes as I've been playing the game. And I recommend that that is something that you do go ahead and do. Just because sometimes you might need a preteen for a quest or a toddler for a quest and you haven't got any it's just a useful thing to have a couple of birthday cakes stored up you can cook them and then they will just stay like in your inventory type of thing so you've got them stored so I definitely recommend that as a little tip to do that but let's go ahead and age up our toddler so to age up your toddler into a preteen or very smelly <laughs> toddler I might add just go ahead and click on them when they've got the plum bob over their head and you see you have a have birthday for three seconds if you click on have birthday it would say it'll ask you would you like to use a birthday cake to let Michael Montgomery enjoy a birthday cake oh you currently have one available I thought I had more than that available but that will just you just cook your birthday cakes and it will show up there how many you have available I need to get making some more birthday cakes by the way to make a birthday cake just click on the oven and go into baking and if you scroll down birthday cake there takes one day and it's five LP so they're quite expensive to make but they are useful sometimes when you're doing a quest and you need a certain age group of sim you might not have anyway back to aging up our toddler where have they gone there, there they are running away so click on the toddler select the toddler and then have birthday do you want to age up yes we do and then there we go we have aged up Michael into a preteen. Now he is a preteen. We can go and make him have a shower because he is disgusting. There you go, guys. That completes the preteens quest in Sims Free Play. If you have any questions about it, do leave them down below. Either myself or maybe another simmer will be able to help you out with that. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to tune in for the next quest coming soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.